Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. Today, the Sven saw. Stick around. Tick, 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 boom. All right guys, so this is the size of it when it's all folded up and it's probably, I don't know, 18 inches, somewhere in there, 18, 20 inches at most. Um, and like I said, very light, very, very light very easily pack. How it goes together is right here you see a wing nut. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. And you come out with a sleeve. In that sleeve you'll see this little threaded bolt which is attached to, like magic, a saw blade. And it only opens up so far. And that's where this piece comes in. This is not only the sheath for the whole system, but it is also the handle for it. It takes a little bit of coordination, which I have very little of, to put it together. Put it together like that, right at the very end. Just like that. Tighten her down. And you, sir or madam, are ready to go out and saw some wood. So, let's go out and saw some wood. All right guys, so what I have here is a nice hunk of cedar that's been downed for quite a while. And uh, it's got to be a good uh, eight inches across. And I figure that's a pretty good test for this saw. That's pretty probably pretty much the limit for this saw too. Actually, probably a little bit less than that, considering that it's a triangle. But we're going to give it a rip. I love the smell of cedar. It smells so good. Let me just say, this is really cool at all, but a chainsaw is way faster, and you don't get out of breath doing that. Alright guys, so that's the Sven saw. Just got done using it. We're going to break it down pretty much the same way we put it together. Turn the little turn screw wing nut here. Be careful, these, these things will cut you. It'll fold right back up like magic. Just like that. Slip it right down in. And at the very end, there's your wing nut again. Slap that wing nut on there, give it a spin, tighten her down. Just like magic, there you go. That's all the bigger it is, guys. Weighs less than a pound. I love this thing. <clears throat> all right, guys, so let's go over some of the good points of this. Number one, it's a folding saw, so it packs up pretty tightly, pretty easily. It's easily carried, I should say. Um, another good point is you're dealing with a good bit of surface area here on the saw, and the saw is a lot more aggressive uh, the blade wise than a Baco or a Silky, which means that you can process a lot more wood a lot faster with something like this than you can a Baco or a Silky, and you're also going to use a lot less calories, you're going to expend a lot less energy. Big pluses. Now, the bad parts of this saw is its shape. 
if you take a look at its shape it's triangular which it's a very strong shape however if you're processing wood of any thickness at all what's going to happen is you're going to start bottoming out here as you are sawing through the logs so you can probably hit like a four five six inch log that's probably about the limit uh, before you have to start turning it and and um, finagling it a little bit so um, another huge downfall of this is its ease of putting together and taking apart. Um, this is not an all one piece construction, kind of like the Boreal 21, which I think is the pinnacle of the takedown saw technology at this point in time. So um, all in all, it's not bad. The other bad thing about this is I've seen other saws in the market that have not only one blade, but they have three blades. Um, so you have a lot more options. This one only comes with one. And you know what, for the price, it's not that bad. Uh, I think I paid under $20 for this. And um, like I said, I just throw it in my truck and I use it um, usually for small jobs around camp here or I've used it a few times during storms. So not a bad saw for the investment. <clears throat> um, but there are better saws out there. Hey guys. Thanks for joining me for another episode. This week is on the Sven saw. If you don't have one of these, you really kind of owe it to yourself to get some kind of portable buck saw. It might not be a Sven saw. There's a lot of other saws out there in the market, but these things are really handy, especially when a job is a little bit too big for a Baco or a Silky. So these have a lot more aggressive blade and they're fantastic. So thanks for joining me. Have a great week, guys. Go hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share the heck out of this video, lay some comments down below, and until next week, get out of the inside and into the outside. Thanks a lot, guys. Nice fire, nice can of food, feet kicked up, relaxing. This is what I call smoothing it.